Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you've been watching this channel, last week I did a video on Materialize, a very cool image to material tool. Now I'm not going to get into a whole lot of details of what that's all about, I'll just link this video down below. But the very cool thing is the developer of this tool, Mike V, or Real Time VFX Mike on Twitter, uh, just posted that it is now an open source project. And one of the coolest things about this, and one of the most commented on topics in uh, the original video, is that it's not available for Linux or Mac. And since this is actually just, I shouldn't say just, but since this is ultimately a Unity powered project, um, it can easily be ported to other platforms. So the source code is now out there. The source code is available under the GPL3 license. Now, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I kind of don't like the GPL license, but that's not really the case for tools. It's a great license for tools where you don't want people to just derive from your work and resell it. What it means is if you've changed the source code, you have to basically make your source code public as well. Um, but, you know, I don't like GPL3 for game engines where it kind of infects your source code. But for a tool like this, the GPL license makes all kinds of sense. So you can go ahead and grab the source code over here on GitHub. Again, I will toss this link down below as well. And then what we're going to do is show you how to go ahead and build this. At least as of today, October the 24th, there are a couple of snags. So we're going to walk through those snags right now. So first things first, you go in, pick your favorite directory, in my case, temp, git, clone, and then paste that directory or that uh, URL in there. This will grab all of the files we need to build this project. And what you will notice is this project was actually built with an earlier version of Unity 2017 point something. We're going to get an error message in a second or a warning that's going to tell us the exact version anyways. Um, so what you want to do is fire up the uh, Unity hub. Da, 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 da. Go ahead and open navigate to the folder you just saved and say select that folder and then you're going to see here it was built with 2017.4 so if you're running any other version you're going to get this warning but no biggie just go ahead and continue and it will go ahead and import it and yep yep that's fine so there have been some changes to the newest version of Unity 2018, but everything still works. It's not a big deal in that regard. So let's let Unity load up and finish with this uh, loading process. I'll just pause while it does this. Okay, so there's a new version available. I don't care. And it's also going to tell you that one of the uh, normal files is not marked as a normal. Just go ahead and fix now and you're good to go. So you have now loaded up. That probably took a minute or two to run. And everything is in this single scene file called main scene. So if you want to tweak the UI in any way whatsoever, this is ultimately where it is. Uh, but in my particular case, I don't really care too much. What I want to do is show you how to actually get it up and running. And one of the challenges you're going to find is the minute you try to run this, you are going to have compiler errors. And we click down here and we're going to see what a couple of them are. Uh, that one I didn't get last time, so hopefully it goes away with time. But what we've got here is OBJ data is missing, it cannot be found. And then we're going to have a couple others uh, on authenticate GUI. Uh, so first one's first, let's get rid of this OBJ data warning. Now this is ultimately just because there's an asset missing. So just go into the asset store and wait and wait and wait a little bit more and wait a bit more and almost there. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we are now in here. What we want to grab is object mesh IO, this guy right here. So just click that. It's a free uh, add on, nothing big required. So just do a download like this. Come on, I said download. And you're gonna get a warning here that this was written for Unity 4 and that the world is gonna end, but don't worry, it doesn't. Click accept, uh, we'll bring it down, click import, and then import over here to bring that asset into your project. So now that will get rid of the one error. Now the other error we're going to get rid of with brute force. So if we come down here, we will see authenticate GUI cannot be found. And we will open that guy up. This will open up our source code. Let's just give it a second, because apparently Visual Studio wants to check for MEF components. MEF, not MILF, MEF. Uh, yeah, I don't know how long Visual Studio, oh, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, here we go. So what the problem seems to be here is we have this dependency on something called Authenticate GUI. Um, it's a third party library. I don't have any usings to go by or any suggestions or ideas of what's going on here. But the truth of the matter is, this is just for the, um, the web-based request for sending feedback. Uh, so I don't really care, to be honest. So basically, let's fix it by, uh, yeah, let's just kill it. 
So now we just have to go down and figure out where that all blows away. I think it's mostly just in the start. We'll just purge all of that out. So what I would highly recommend until this is actually fixed full blown, um, don't send any suggestions or feedback <laughs> until uh, until that works, because this code is obviously going to explode now. Uh, but really, it's just a matter of finding out what that authenticate library is. Hopefully, the original developer adds the dependency in or tells us what it is so we can download it ourselves. But in the meantime, you can safely just get rid of it. And this one is disconcerting me. Yeah, I made a backup. I'm good. This one didn't happen before. So hopefully, it will just go away. And now this should do a recompile. Yeah, it is gone. Hopefully it will ignore that one shader error. We should be able to go ahead and run the project now. And there you see it. So this is ultimately uh, materialized running inside of the editor, as you can see nicely. And now once it is up and running, if you want to build it for various different platforms, you can. Uh, you should, in theory, uh, just be able to pick the, you know, so if you're on Linux or you're on Mac, hopefully it's just a matter of picking Linux, Mac, and doing a build and distributing the executable. So uh, if it's not, I imagine the process of porting this to various different platforms, since it's a Unity-based project, will be almost nothing. So that is the newly open source materialized texture creation tool. If you have not checked it out already, I highly recommend head on back over, check this video. It will amaze you. This application is just, as I mentioned in the description, an amazing free texture map generation tool. And now we see it is completely open source under the GPL license, and this link will be downloadable below. Now again, as we saw going through the process, there are a couple of steps. You have to bring in that one add-on to make it compile, and you have to cut gut a little bit code out, at least for now, until we figure out what that missing library actually is, and we can just add it back in. But again, that is just for submitting feedback to users, so if you weren't intending to send any feedback, you're not missing anything by cutting that particular code out in general. All right, hopefully some of you guys found that useful, and again, all the appropriate links will be down below. Are you going to be using Materialize? Are you a Linux user and you're going to be porting this to your particular environment of choice? Let me know in the comments. All right, talk to you all later. Goodbye.